This is the Emergency Medical Minute. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. All right. Good morning, everyone. I was going to do a um, medical minute on a kind of interesting case we had the other day. So um, it was a 40-ish year old guy, um, came in as a medical activation. So the guy arrived and he looked very sick. He was altered, hypoxic, hypotensive, he looked really shocky. Um, the history was that, uh, you know, he we got some labs. He was acidotic. He had a pretty high lactate, like 12. Um, he was able to talk just a little bit, um, said that he did have some abdominal pain and some nausea, um, but that was kind of all the history that we could get. And so we had a pretty broad differential at this point. You know, we were thinking, you know, could have been an overdose, something, you know, toxicologic, um, sepsis, something like a PE, um, you know, aortic dissection, a AAA, just, you know, he looked really sick, but we didn't know what was going on. So we got him, you know, a little bit stabilized. He got better with IV fluids a little bit, lots of oxygen. And, you know, when we don't know what's going on, a lot of times we get a lot of imaging. So we went and we pan scanned head, chest, abdomen, pelvis to see if we could find anything explaining it. And he ended up having a pretty large liver abscess and was pretty much in septic shock from that. Um, did get uh, improvement with IV fluids, kind of improved his mentation a little bit, blood pressure got better. Um, so just real quick, liver abscesses, we don't see a lot of these, but it is, you know, something that happens can be a source of, you know, septic shock. Patients get liver abscesses for a couple different reasons. You can get um, some kind of infection in your abdomen, and then you can get bacterial infection in your peritoneum, and that can drain into the liver and set up an abscess. Sometimes people get them from just hematogenous spread. So basically, if you get bacteria in your blood, it can just set up in the liver. So you can get it that way if you're bacteremic from somewhere else. Um, or you can get it from a local infection, like a local biliary gallbladder infection can then lead to a gallbladder abscess. Those are kind of the main reasons people get gallbladder, sorry, liver abscesses. And then the treatment is, you know, treating just like every other kind of bad infection, IV fluids, broad spectrum antibiotics, um, and then drainage. And drainage can be um, either just an radiology guided aspiration. If it's a small abscess, if it's a bigger abscess, they'll still do drainage, but they'll leave a drain in, not just aspirating it. And sometimes people do need surgery if they've got, you know, multiple different areas of infection. Um, it's kind of interesting, something we don't see every day, um, but uh, uh, any questions? All right, thanks, have a great day. Hello, EMM listeners. We are dedicated to providing you with high-quality educational content free of charge and without ads. As a nonprofit organization, we rely solely on donations. So if you enjoy our show and are able to make a one-time or recurring donation to help cover our operational costs, any amount is helpful in making this show possible. Click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you.